when electrons from cathode side, interact with nucleus of, target atoms, Bremsstrahlung X-rays are produced. Prior to going into, details of this process, let's discuss one relevant fact. Kinetic energy, equals, half, mv square. If speed of an object is increased, we can say, the object must have gained, kinetic energy. On the contrary, if speed of an object is decreased, the object must have lost, some of its kinetic energy. This is a nucleus of, a target atom. Here is an electron, which is thermically emitted from filament and, accelerated by potential difference between anode and cathode. This electron is supposed to travel, in a straight line. But, while traveling near to a nucleus, it will experience a coulombic force of attraction at each point. Nucleus being a positively charged will attract, negatively charged electron. The direction of force will be, radially inwards at, each point. We can split this force in two components. One component perpendicular to the direction of motion or velocity and other along the direction of motion or velocity. The component, which is acting perpendicular to the direction of motion, will change the path of electron from a straight line to a curve. If you analyze the path of electron in the vicinity of nucleus, the electron will first get close to the nucleus and then move away from the nucleus. The other component of Coulombic force will be, along the direction of motion while the electron is, approaching the nucleus. But while the electron is leaving behind the nucleus, the direction of force will be opposite to the direction of motion. This component of force, which acts in backward direction will, slow down the electron. Slowing down of electron means, the electron is losing kinetic energy. This loss in kinetic energy appears as, X-ray. X-ray thus produced is called, Bremsstrahlung X-ray. Consider three electrons having same, initial kinetic energy. But the one which travel closest to nucleus will experience, greater force in backward direction, than others. It is because, Coulombic force is inversely proportional to square of, distance between charged particles. So, the electron closest to nucleus, will lose highest kinetic energy and, energy of X-ray produced will be highest. So, the energy of X-rays produced can be different basing on, electron's distance from nucleus. If the electron is completely stopped by the strong, positive force of the nucleus, the radiated X-ray energy will have, an energy equal to, the initial kinetic energy of the electron. This happens in case of head-on collision. Also, kinetic energy of electrons can be different, due to previous interaction with a target atom. So, Bremsstrahlung X-ray can have, any energy, between zero and a maximum. Maximum energy of X-ray, is numerically equal to potential difference, KV, applied at X-ray console. If one applies 120 KV at console, we will have a maximum energy of X-ray at 120 kilo electron volt. For an unfiltered beam, Intensity of X-ray beam is high for, low energy X-rays and, intensity is low for, high energy X-rays. X-rays produced deep inside the target, may get attenuated before coming out of, target itself, and some X-rays may get attenuated while passing through, X-ray tube envelope. Low energy X-rays are more removed from the spectrum than, high energy x-rays and we get a spectrum like a lying whale 
Intensity of X-rays first increases. Reaches a peak. Then decreases with energy. The peak intensity occurs at an energy of Emax divided by 3. Here, 120 kilo electron volt divided by 3 is 40 kilo electron volt where peak intensity occurs. Bremsstrahlung X rays result from Coulombic interaction between high speed electron and nucleus. Energy of Bremsstrahlung X ray equal to the kinetic energy lost by electron. Maximum energy of X-ray in the, the spectrum is, numerically equal to, potential difference, kV, applied at, X-ray console. If one applies 70 kV at console, we will have a maximum possible energy of X-ray at 70 kV. Energy at which intensity peak is observed is maximum energy divided by 3. Bremsstrahlung X-rays have a continuous spectrum. The energy lost by an electron or energy of an X-ray, directly proportional to, the square atomic number Z of target atom, and the initial kinetic energy of electrons and inversely with, square of distance between, electron and nucleus. At electron energies below 100 kiloelectron-v, X-rays are emitted more or less equally in all directions. As the kinetic energy of the electrons increases, the direction of X-ray emission becomes increasingly forward. At 100 kVp, approximately 15% of the X-ray beam are characteristic, and the remaining are Bremsstrahlung. Please like, share, Subscribe and keep all notification on for update.